It will never die. It will never die. It will only multiply, baby. <laughs> racism all over the world. Even in my life, there's some racism. People go, really? Yeah, yeah. Yes, in my life. I'll, I will give you an example how race affects my life, okay? I live in a place called Alpine, New Jersey. I live in Alpine, New Jersey, right? My house cost millions of dollars. Don't hate the player, hate the game. In my neighborhood, there are four black people. Hundreds of houses, four black people. Who are these black people? Well, it's me, Mary J. Blige, Jay-Z, and Eddie Murphy. Only black people in the whole neighborhood. So let, let, let's break it down, let's break it down. Me, I, I'm a decent comedian, I'm all right. Uh, Mary J. Blige, Mary J. Blige, one of the greatest R&B singers to ever walk the earth. Jay-Z, one of the greatest rappers to ever live. Eddie Murphy, one of the funniest actors to ever, ever do it. Do you know what the white man that lives next door to me does for a living? He's a fucking dentist. <laughs> He ain't the best dentist in the world. He ain't going to the Dental Hall of Fame. He don't get plaques for getting rid of plaques. <laughs> He's just a yank yo tooth out dentist. See, the black man got to fly to get something that the white man can walk to. That's right, baby. Shit, I had to make miracles happen to get that house. I had to host the Oscars to get that house. To this day, I don't even believe it's my house. That's why I keep a bag packed right by the door. Just in case the white people that really own the place show up one day. Time to go, Blackie. Damn, I knew this day would come. Good thing I'm packed. Do you know what a black dentist would have to do to move into my neighborhood? He'd have to invent <laughs> racism, man. Racism out there, man. Only thing that makes me more angry than racism, only one thing that makes me more angry than racism, is black people that are shocked at racism. Because whenever something racist goes down, they always manage to find one black person that can't believe it. So I can't believe Imus would say that. I'm like, where the fuck you from? <laughs> There's nothing a white person could ever say to me that will ever catch me off guard. Ever. I'm always looking for some racism. No matter where the fuck I'm at, I'm like, where the racism at? Where that? Where that? Where that? I'm all, I don't, no matter where I'm at, I could be sitting down with Regis Philman doing an interview talking about Madagascar 2. Say, so yeah, Regis Madagascar 2 is real good, man. I play, I play a zebra again. Oh, this motherfucker is great. And right in the middle of the interview, Regis will pull a pencil out of his pocket, stab me in the neck, say, take that, you fucking nigger. Take that, you dirty, greasy nigger. Take that, you fucking nigger. And I'll be like, I should have seen it coming. I let Regis get too close. I'll be mad at me. I'll apologize. Hey, man, I left my neck all out, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. Race, man. Big, man. We live in a crazy time, man. We live in an insane time, man. We live in a time where, it, where you, if you say the wrong thing, you in trouble. We live in, this is the first time in the history of the world where white men actually have to watch what they say. White men are getting in trouble for saying the wrong words, man. It's unbelievable, man. And a lot of white guys, hey, man, that's not fair. You, you can say whatever you want. You can say nigger. Yeah, when I last checked, that was the only advantage I had to being black. <laughs> you want to switch places? You scream nigga and I'll raise interest rates. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time in the history of the world where white men have to watch their tongue. And then, you know, white guys, don't, don't, don't worry about it. You know, that's how life works, man. That's how life works. Sometimes the people with the most shit have to shut up and let other people talk shit about them. 
That's how life works. That's right. Sometimes the people with the most shit get to say the least shit. And the people with the least shit get to say the most shit. So if you want to say most shit, get rid of some of your shit. That's how the world works, man. Some people get to talk about other people, and that's, how, that's just how it goes, man. For instance, like fat girls can say whatever they want to about skinny girls. Fat girls can talk about skinny girls all day long. Fucking skinny bitch, fucking skinny ass, anorexic, bulimic, fucking regurgitating bitch, fucking Cheerio belt wearing bitch. Salad eating motherfucker. Hope she chokes on a crouton. But skinny girls can't talk about fat girls. Just, just me. Look at these big bitches. Do they free base gravy? Food is not your friend. It's not your friend. For instance, <laughs> short guys can talk about tall guys all day long. Short guys can say whatever they want to about tall guys, you tall bastard, you tall motherfucker. I hope your head hits an air conditioning vent. I hope Bin Laden flies a plane into your lips. can't talk about short guys that's just me look at these midget motherfuckers <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fo. <laughs> like poor people can talk about rich people all day long poor people can say whatever they want to about rich people you fucking rich bastard I hope your yacht hits an iceberg in the summer <laughs> Fucking I, I, I hope your Picasso falls off the wall and kills your mother. <laughs> Fucking rich bastard. But rich people can't talk about poor people. That's just me. Like, look at these broke bastards. <laughs> Perhaps we should raise the prices so we don't have to see these people again. <laughs> Is that a Hyundai? With cloth interior, ooh! Yes, man!